Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Brass 1.16. This series will have two playlists, one edited and one unedited. So make sure you're in the right one before you thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for more modded Minecraft and if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. What we're planning on doing is going to be the mixer. So we'll jump right into it. We'll make the mechanical mixer this time, which requires a whisk. And the whisk requires some sheets. So let's go ahead and grab our supplies that we have in here. We need the andesite alloy, casing, cogwheel. We'll grab the sheets and we'll grab some iron. And let's see if that is everything that we need for right now. Mixer requires the whisk. Got it. Got it. So there we have the mechanical mixer now from Create. We also need a basin for this mixer. So we'll grab that. We need one small cogwheel so that we can turn this guy. And then what I want to do is uh, for right now, we're going to operate it by hand. So we need one shaft and we need some planks. Let's go ahead and grab some planks. Did I put any in here? Doesn't look like it. I think we have all of our planks are over here now. Let's grab those and then we should have an extra shaft in here. There we go. And let's make the hand crank. Like this. Nice. Okay. So now we have these items. Let's drop off the planks. I need a placeholder. All right, and I have a place that I want it to be right here in the middle. So we'll put the basin down right here. There needs to be a space in between, so we're gonna put the mixer up one right there. There we go. And then uh, let's see, am I gonna need, I'm gonna need more than one piece of dirt for placeholders. All right, so let's go. We're going to, oh no, ah, yeah, I only needed the one. Uh, I, I couldn't see the slab that well. And then we'll shift boop this guy from here. That'll orient it so that uh, both of the gears can work within each other there. And then we'll hand crank the bottom right here. Bloop. And now we can turn this guy by hand. Later when we get the rotational speed, rotation speed controller, then we can hook it up to our existing uh, system uh, for stress units that we have but for right now doing this guy this is the quickest easiest way to operate the me mechanical mixer one great thing that a lot of uh, people overlook is now that we have the mixer going on let's see one zinc nine nuggets and then now, what's really awesome is uh, we can make the andesite alloy for cheaper. Let's toss in nine, toss in nine. There we go. Do we have any? We have seven. Okay. And then we can right click this guy and we can make the andesite, andesite, the andesite alloy. We can make them for one nugget and one andesite. Uh, the the zinc isn't a problem since we break down every ore into nine pieces of uh, zinc nugget. Uh, this really does save you on andesite, so you don't have to go mining up a whole bunch of andesite. There we go. Andesite alloy. We right click, and now we have 16. There we go. Awesome. So the next step that we need to do. There we go, bing boom. You can see the little piggy coming out, it was noon. <laughs> All right, the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to upgrade the mixer already. And uh, by doing that, we need to make this empty blaze burner. Let's see, two sheets and iron bars, okay. So let's go, we can make some iron bars. And we have the sheets, so let's make an empty blaze burner. This guy, we're gonna have to take with us to the nether. Super exciting. The next thing we need to do is go to the nether. We need to make one flint and steel. 
and let's go ahead and set up our nether portal. And let me see, I think right here is fine. I'm not uh, a scaredy cat. I don't need to make the, the nether portal too far away. So let's go like this. And then one, two, one, two. Placeholder, one, two. Let's go. All right, brave the unknown. This might turn into a two-parter. <gasps> How in the world did I survive that? My heart fell out of my chest. That is a fortress, guys. It's in Skellyville. We can go up. Let's go! Come on, give me the achievement, homie. Where's my achievement? For touching. There it is. A terrible fortress. Now all we need to do is find a spawner. Alright, empty blaze burner. Let's see if we can trap this guy real quick. Oh, I can't sprint. Come on down, boy. Let's just go over here. We can either click on a blaze or we can click on the spawner itself. So let's go ahead and get out of here, man. We have our blaze. Okay, I'm so happy. Because now, let's go straight into this over here. Let's break this block. There we go. We can put our blaze burner down there. He's a sad boy right now. Uh, let's see. We need copper. And we need... Uh, zinc. So let's go 8 zinc. All right, so now we have eight copper ingots and eight zinc ingots. So we'll toss these in here. Eight. Eight, and we'll feed this starving boy down here. And hand crank. So that we can make brass this way. So this is how you get brass in brass. 116. <laughs> Yeah, I love this. Hand crank, because now, uh, now that we can make brass, we can start working on uh, mechanical crafters. And uh, the first thing that I want to make with the mechanical crafter is going to be the uh, rotation speed, rotation speed controller. And then we'll hook that up and get this guy automated. First thing that I want to do is automate this guy. Little blaze peeking out the bottom. I think that's cool. He follows you. And then, yeah. What a satisfying feeling right there. We're in the brass age. Nice. So happy we can make brass now. So the first thing that I want to make with brass is going to be the traveler's backpack. This boy, bad boy right here. Chest, brass, sleeping bag. Let's see. Do I have two, three, and can I dye it with one, or do I need to do eight? Awesome. Is it the other way around? Is it down here? Okay. Oh, it's two red and one white. Okay. One more poppy, or red dye, should I say. All right. Red, red, white. Come on, boy. There we go. Sleeping bag. We need glass. And we need iron. hi -yo. Iron. And we need to make the two tanks. One, two. Okay. What else do we need? We need four leather and a chest. Chest. And we have four leather. We do not have four leather. We can make 
three leather from rat pelts that I've been slaying. <laughs> Alright, what else can make leather? Wheat. Wheat. And then I can slay one of the cows, hopefully. Bloop. Where's the baby cow? I hear a zombie on fire somewhere. Okay, the baby cow is down there. So let's get rid of the oddball. Wink. I saw the zombie was on fire over here. Where'd you come from? Did I eat zombie flesh? Okay, yeah, I've eaten zombie flesh. Excited. We can make the traveler's backpack. And... Traveler's backpack. Just what I needed. Alright, where does this guy go? I think you right-click it. Shift right-click puts it on the ground, and then... Can't deploy the sleeping bag. Let me... Uh, let's see. None. Can't deploy the sleeping bag. Okay, you shift right click. And there should be a backpack key, right? Controls. Back. Backpack inventory B. Let's go to two key hotbar backspace done. Yeah, there we go. Cause I have uh I have a cool mouse that has buttons on the side. Awesome, so now we can have our infinite water source inside of our backpack. Nice. We can do that. Let's it bothers me that it's not full. Okay, two. There we go. Pocket. Pocket. Okay, and here we can place it back down if we wanted to get rid of it. But I just want it for the extended inventory. We got water. We can pull it back out if we wanted to. We could do another fluid on this side, so we could bring lava this way. I think that's cool. Uh, and we have a crafting grid in here, right here. I think that's pretty sweet. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. But be sure to yell boom really loud when you do, loud enough to scare me in Texas. <laughs>